Well, do you remember a few years ago when the Pirates signed a pair of players from India to contracts? A lot of people made fun of it. Well, one of them is back in India, done with baseball, but the other, Rinku Singh, continues to pitch in the Pirates minor league system. So we sent Jory Rand down to Charleston, West Virginia to catch up with a Pirate prospect from halfway around the world, the first and only Indian-born pitcher in professional baseball history. This is a typical game day afternoon at Charleston, West Virginia's Appalachian Power Park. The Pirates' low A affiliate, West Virginia Power, are getting ready to face the Yankees Farm Club. And there in the outfield, shagging fly balls as he does every game day, is 23-year-old Rinku Singh. Every time I walk out in, in, in the field, you know, it feels like you know, I belong here. You know, I've been playing baseball since my whole life. Only Rinku hasn't played baseball his whole life. In fact, up until four years ago, the word baseball had never entered his vocabulary. I never ever heard about what's a baseball and never even seen in TV, never heard about baseball. Rinku grew up in rural India. A hard life. Yeah, you can say that. The son of a truck driver, he was a standout javelin thrower when a TV show changed his life forever. Welcome to the million dollar arm. I was like, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to hurt myself. My javelin coach, he told me, no, you have to go there, just try it. And guess what happened? And there you have it. Rinku Singh is the winner of the million dollar arm final. Rinku didn't win a million dollars, but he did get 100,000 and a trip to America. Along with runner-up Dinesh Patel, the two worked out in front of pro baseball scouts, but only one team came calling. Did people think it was a joke? Yeah, to be honest, it, it was not real well received. Uh, it was a publicity stunt or it was a marketing ploy. When you were first signed by the Pirates, did you even know what that meant? No, had no idea. Unable to speak any English, unaware of what even a strikeout was, Rinku studied the game of baseball every minute of every day. That first, first time I had a strikeout, that was like, I really can't believe that, how much I was happy, you know. People talked about a strikeout, I'm watching in TV, I was like, how to do that, you know. Yeah. But that was, that was really, you know, it makes me pumped up. Well, I'm going to get more work out, I'm going to go more work on my pitching, you know. I'm going to get more guys to strike out. As he pursues his newfound dream halfway around the world from home, Rinku hasn't seen his parents in years. Mom and dad have no idea what am I doing here. No idea. Every time I talk to them, all they just say is, do not forget why you're there for, you know, and where are you coming from. Do not forget that. And that, that's huge for me, you know. I really can't forget why I'm here for, you know. Here for, you know, work hard, you know, succeed, you know. That's, that's a big thing for me. So could this former javelin thrower from India one day play baseball at PNC Park. We weren't sure they were ever going to play baseball under the lights, let alone make it to the major leagues. And Rinku has made it under the lights. He's having success. But uh, it's a great story. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun to see how far he can take it. I'm, I'm blown away. I mean, it's he has adapted to this culture. He's got it down. He understands what's going on. He's into the realm of the baseball stuff. He's got that down. I, he's, uh, he's on his way somewhere. I don't know about the future, but I think if I'm going to keep working hard like that, whatever I'm doing right now, yeah. it's not going to take a long time to get there. It's all about work ethic, you know, and I'm believing it. Was there ever a moment where you thought you would quit? Never, never, never even, I mean, never ever thought about it, I'm going to quit. It doesn't matter how struggling my life is, but I'm never going to quit, never. It's not going to happen. I'm going to quit only one time when when I get released, that's the time, you know. And when I'm going to release, I'm going to be happiest person ever. Because, you know, I've been seeing a lot of guys who get released and, you know, they're crying their self and they feel sorry for their self, what they're not done. But I'm, I'm going to be have a good time because, you know, I know I'm giving 100% here, you know. I'm, I'm love to doing that. I'm just living in a dream. Living Live, the dream. Living in a dream. There you go. Thank you very much, Jory. And tomorrow at 6, Jory got a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with former Duquesne head coach Ron Everhart, who is now on the West Virginia bench as one of Bob Huggins' top assistants. That's tomorrow, 645 here on KDK. And back to Rinku Singh, 280, uh, 261 ERA, so he's doing well down there. And there's going to be a Disney movie made about his career and how he oh, came really? here. And John Hamm, if you remember him from Mad Men, he's going to be in that movie. He'll play the agent who signed Rinku wow, Singh. Is that right? Yeah, wow. so it's going to be interesting. He's Started come a long already. way. Exactly. Yeah.